Hi, my name is Mike. I'm part of the solutions consulting team here at Zscaler. Um, but before I joined Zscaler, I was chief technology officer at a large mental health trust. Today, I want to talk about how Zscaler secures the internet and how that is completely different from, from how it's traditionally done. So here we've got a laptop, we've got a firewall and we've got the internet. And traditionally, traffic comes off the laptop through the firewall and goes to the internet. And inside that firewall are a set of policies that either say allowed or block. Why is this becoming a challenge? It's becoming a challenge because people don't just work in an office anymore. People work from anywhere. And they work on multiple devices. This causes a real headache for tech teams because they either have to split tunnel that VPN connection to get back to their private applications to go to the internet or drag all of that internet traffic back to a data center and then break it out. It's horrible. It's a horrible experience for a user and it's a horrible thing for a tech team to have to look after. Also, the lists that need to be maintained inside this firewall, so access control lists, it's just a job no one wants to do anymore. Okay, so let's talk about the Zscaler way of doing things and why it's different. So who are Zscaler? Well, we're the world's largest security cloud. Um, we handle roughly half a billion transactions a day. And what does that mean? We're 20 times bigger than Google in the amount of traffic that we process. So just in the UK alone, we have four points of presence, two in Manchester, one in London, and one in Slough and they process all of our user traffic. So how do we get traffic to Zscaler? Lightweight agent on the endpoint called Client Connector. This is really cool because it can go on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux. We can cover all of those devices and secure that internet traffic. Traffic comes off the device, comes up to the Zero Trust Exchange where we can apply policy. So we can block all of the bad and allow people to go through. We can send people to the internet or to Office 365 and allow them to work. Now, why is this good? Well, we get visibility of what our users are doing. We get to see what, what data is going to Office 365, but we also see all of that other stuff that's in play. So all of the shadow IT that exists my story with this, it, it frightened me. I used to think I had 400 bits of shadow IT. When Zscaler went in and I could see everything and had all of that visibility, it was close to 2000. So these are little internet applications that your users can just connect to that you might then lose sensitive data to. So it's really key that you get that visibility. So because of the size and the scale of the Zero Trust Exchange, one of, the, one of the really cool things that we can do is we can do up to 100% of SSL inspection. Why is that important? Because the majority of threats now that come from the internet are inside encrypted packets. So that's a real challenge with a firewall. It's really hard to do and it's really expensive. We make it super easy. Another cool thing we can do, we are sat inside the fabric of the internet. So we optimize traffic to Office 365 and those SaaS apps. And that visibility that I talked about before that we give you over that shadow IT, our really cool people have now done, done something amazing. We can now show you all of the Gen AI applications that are in use inside your organization and capture the prompts. So why is this important? Because as more people use Gen AI applications, the compliance regulations are gonna change. You're gonna to need to see what people are putting inside of these things. Zscaler can show you that. Why is that good? It's good from a compliance perspective and it's really good from a DLP perspective. There's another really cool piece of technology that Zscaler has inside its cloud that I haven't talked about and it solves a real problem for the NHS. So inside our cloud, we have technology now called Cloud Browser Isolation or CBI for short. So what is that? It's a pixel streamed image of a web page that can be pixel streamed down to an endpoint and never ever go on that endpoint. So why is that cool? Because what we, it will enable us to do is we can have a web portal over here and we can publish, let's say, your shared care record into this web portal and pixel stream out of the Zscaler cloud that shared care record 
into this web portal. Why is that cool? Because actually we can enable people in care homes to access that care record on a device that doesn't belong to us. And we don't care about it because we don't need to because this is secure inside this containerized web page. We can enable people in the voluntary sector to read that care record. We can actually enable our clinicians to dip in and out of it on a bring your own device type scenario. All of this is, is technology that's available now that can make a real difference. You know, people need access to information to treat patients and using Zscaler and Cloud Browser Isolation, we can enable that today. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that really useful. Um, for more information or to discuss this further, please either reach out to myself or to your Zscaler account team. Thank you. Bye.